What? Oh, I'm finna throw up. Oh, I'm finna throw up. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by Drew <laughs> Alright, so we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> we back with another reaction video. Y'all read the title. We, we finna be looking at some weird or strange things that have been found inside some people's bodies. Now, me, I have a weird, like, thingy. I hate weird things coming out of my body. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but one time, okay, I was at my, my old house, my parents' house, we used to have carpet, right? And it was like a little bead, like a little water bead thingy, the ones that expand with the water. And it had went in my ear. No, and I had, it hadn't went all the way deep in it. But I remember I just felt so disgusted and I had to like, I had to like take out like a tweezer or something like that. And when it came out, I was just so disgusted I wanted to throw up. I don't know what it was, but it, that, that was just a little bead thingy. I don't even know why I just said that story. But I just don't, it's just weird stuff just weirds me out. And I said, I don't like weird stuff and be having my skin curling, itching, all this type of stuff. My legs be tingling, my arms be, everything be tingling. So watching this video is probably gonna be very, 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 very hard if they actually show like the things being like taken out of people's bodies. I hope they don't show the things being taken out of people's bodies because I really cannot watch that. I don't know what it is, I mean, it's just weird. I, I don't, y'all see, I just, I, I just don't like that. Obviously y'all can tell. But we finna watch this. Y'all let me know if there's anything you want me to react to. You can DM me over there on, on Instagram at Juvern underscore to send me the link to the video if I react to the video. I shot you out in the video. But before we get into the video, you know the vibes, man. You know it. You want it? You can have it. This sexy Jurag can have your ways on swim like him. And who is him? Me. I'm that guy. I'm that guy, pal. <laughs> yes, sir. Jurag.com. I say my two with third freak of bullet. Say so. Fifty dollars. And um, without further ado, let's just hop right into this. Ultimate Fact presents Top 10 Strangest Objects Bring it to me, man. From a patient Bring it product. to me. Before we begin, click that like button. Come on, man. Y'all click that like button, button too. Subscribe to yeah, hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on as well. By this type of ultimate fact. Yes, sir. Most of what appears on this list may seem like the stuff of fiction, but a series of improbable and unfortunate events. My skin already itching. I like this. The most bizarre objects gaining entry into the human body. Some of these events were traumatic accidents. Others were self-inflicted acts of idiocy. Some of the wounded were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Modern medicine has led to some incredible developments. Okay. Antibiotics, MRI scanners, transplants, uh -huh. surgical robots. Yeah. Without these achievements, many of the following patients would have either died or led severely debilitated lives. So spare a thought for the medical fraternity as we reveal the 10 strangest objects extracted from the human body. Okay, let's go. Come on. A swordfish bill. What? Wait, a what? A young woman was enjoying a paddle off the coast of Santorini Island when all of a sudden she felt a stabbing sensation around her upper abdomen. Realizing she had been speared by an angry fish, the woman pulled the animal from her body and made a speedy retreat. X-ray, CT, and MRI scans revealed damage to the liver and distension of the surrounding blood vessels. Of greater concern was the bony tip of the swordfish bill found lodged in the woman's spinal canal. Wait, Surgeons pause. Okay, so wait, the, the them fish be stabbing people? I've seen them fish before, but they be stabbing people when they get mad. They should be like, ugh, full sand, like all the way down, dead. <laughs> Poked you, now you're dead. That, that, did they do that? I didn't know that. But it, then it broke off inside of her. Okay, that's not that bad. That's not like a weird thing, and it's kind of like a normal thing controlled the bleeding and repaired the tissue damage. Additional surgery was then conducted to remove the swordfish bill. Over a month later and following several courses of antibiotics, the woman left the hospital on the men. The remains of a bill were found near the scene of the attack. Ichthyologists confirmed that the deadly weapon belonged to a swordfish. To this day, the perp remains on the run. According to a 2010 report penned in the journal BMC Surgery, there have been four cases of swordfish attacks discussed in scientific literature. Bro, they be One victim suffered through? thoracic trauma, another a knee injury, and two others sustained head traumas. One of the reported victims, a 39-year-old fisherman, eventually succumbed to his injuries. The man was fishing in his boat when he shined a torchlight into the waters below. In a murderous frenzy, the swordfish leapt towards its unsuspecting prey. Swordfish often hunt at night for small fish 
surveying the water surface for movement. Wait, so you tell me that fish just shot out the water? Yeah, I'm never going fish again, never going on a boat, none of that. The fish just shot out the freaking water and was like, shark attack! And it wasn't even finna bite him. Like, biting is bad enough. But imagine a dagger coming to your top, just straight. Oh, you fishing? Whoop! Oh, I caught a fish, wheeling it in. Wait a second, what is that? Jumping out the water. It's a, it's a, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a freaking fish with a knife on his head. You, you feel me? Researchers believe the swordfish struck after mistaking the flashlight for a source of food. Pea plant. A pea plant? Back in 2010, Massachusetts resident was rushed to the hospital with a suspected collapsed lung. The 75-year-old retired teacher, Ron Sweden, presented with shortness of breath and a cough, symptoms that were initially attributed to emphysema. After the man's admission to A&E, doctors embarked on a frantic and confusing search for the cause of Sweden's collapsed lung. The clinical team's differential diagnosis ruled out cancer, but x-ray scans revealed the presence of an unusual growth. There inside the patient's lung was a tiny one centimeter pea plant. Months prior, Sweden was enjoying some nutrient veggies when the troublesome pea made its way down the wrong chute, oh, entering dang. the trachea instead of the esophagus. Dang. Once inside the lung, the pea then split and started to grow. As it turns out, the warmth and moistness of the human lung is- Wait, 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 the pea, the pea broke and then it started growing in his stomach? Oh, I can't even, ooh, I mean, not his stomach, his lungs. Oh, I don't even want to think about that. Because what if you eat one time, what if you eat an apple and that apple seed accidentally going the wrong thing and you got an apple growing in your freaking lungs? How the heck that's gonna work? Oh, I'm never eating apples again. I'm never eating anything with seeds ever again. Uh, Ideal for rearing bee plants. A nail. A nail. Ain't no way. A Chicago man, Dante Autulo, was building a shed when he accidentally misfired this trusty nail gun. Despite the errant nail striking Autulo in the head, he and his fiancée assumed it was just a graze. Thinking nothing of it, Autulo then got back to work. The following day, the DIY prodigy fell a little under the weather. Partner Gail Glasner convinced Autulo to go to the hospital. The doctors performed an x-ray that identified the source of their patient's woes. A nine centimeter or three point five. So how the heck you ain't know there's a there's a mother a mother nail in your brain? How you ain't know that? Like what? Pinch nail was embedded in his brain. Neurosurgeon spent two hours operating on the 34 year old's head. They drilled two holes into his skull, eventually removing the nail and a piece of bone. A titanium mesh was then used to fill in the missing skull. The nail came within mere millimeters of a part of the brain that controls movement. Nonetheless, the self-proclaimed medical miracle appears to have suffered no lasting symptoms. How do you not, what the, what is this? What is that? Oh, that's a hairbrush right here, okay, boom. But how do you not know you just shot yourself in the head with a, um, a nail? How do you not know? Like, I, I think I would feel that. Actually, I'm sure I would have felt that, to be honest. You would have felt that too, right? Yeah. Y'all see, I, I can't sit right. I'm, I'm, it's just all, yeah. I don't like Who this. Who's the hairiest of them all? An 18-year-old American woman presented with abdominal pain and distension. She would often vomit after eating food and had lost a staggering 18 kilograms. Upon physical examination, doctors identified a firm mass in the upper region of her abdomen. A CT scan confirmed a sizable mass, prompting gastrointestinal specialists to probe the region with an endoscope. The scope found a mass of 5 kilogram or 10 pound clump of human hair. This is by no means the only case of extreme trichophagia. A young woman from Kyrgyzstan presented to doctors with a swollen abdomen, vomiting, malnourishment, and dehydration. After putting her under the knife, the surgical team unraveled a 4 kilogram trichobazor. How you eat that much hair? Oh, that just pissed me off. That just pissed me off. What the f... How do you eat that much hair? How does that... How does that happen? Oh, that's so nasty. Oh, I don't want to look at this. Skip, the woman skip had it. a history of munching away at her own hairy mane. What? Along with bits of hair that she had scooped from the floor. A what? Wait, wait. She eats her own hair and then the hair off the floor? What is... What? Oh, I'm finna throw up. Oh, I'm finna throw up. Uh, I can't do this. I really can't do this. 
She eats the hair. She ah, uh, she eats the hair all off the floor. Oh my, I can't do this. This is just disgusting. She eats the hair off of her own head and off the floor, and just it's okay with that. How do you do that? You just take it out of the car. Apparently, both women have kicked the habit. The human bomb. Afghanistan has long been a dangerous place. Private Channing Moss knows this fact more than most. Back in 2006, the 10th Mountain Division's Alpha Company went on a mission in Afghanistan's Pakpika province. While U.S. troops were snaking their way through a series of dry riverbeds, a band of Taliban fighters opened fire on them. A number of guerrilla troops were firing RPGs when Moss was hurled against his own Humvee. Looking down, Moss discovered the tail fins of an RPG jutting from his abdomen. At great personal risk, the company's medic, Jared Angel, treated his companion's wounds. Angel then stabilized the RPG and tried to keep Moss calm. An explosive expert worked alongside a surgical team at a makeshift field hospital. The RPG's fins were removed first, and the rocket was gently extracted from Moss's... Wait, so a rocket was in his stomach? How does that happen? A rocket? Y'all know how big an RPG rocket is? I play a lot of Call of Duty, and that rocket is big. That is a big rocket. I seen one in person, too. That is a huge, that's, they know, I'm still stuck on the hair thing. I don't know if you're talking about my face. I'm still stuck on the hair thing. I don't, she eats it off the floor? Like, what's the, where does that come from? Where did, uh, oh, okay, rocket, rocket stomach, let's go. His chest, the explosives expert then detonated the ordnance while the surgeons finished their work. Four surgeries and a lot of physical therapy later. Private Moss was able to collect his purple heart. 40 knives. What? An Indian man swallowed 40 knives over a period of several months. Perhaps slightly embarrassed by his unusual cravings, the 42-year-old failed to tell doctors that he had a habit of ingesting sharp instruments. What? This man eats knives? What? Oh my god. What is this? Well, I don't know what I'm watching. I don't want to watch this anymore. He eats knives, bruh. This man, uh, this man eats. How do you, what? Oh, how does he poop it out? Do it slice his booty hole open? Beyond, does it slice his booty hole open when he poops it out? Does it slice his throat open when he eats? What the f Instead, the man simply told the team he was experiencing abdominal pain, letting the medical mystery go on for longer than it needed to. After conducting a series of diagnostic tests, doctors were alarmed to discover an arsenal of knives in his gut. An invasive procedure was the only means of retrieving the man's deadly stash. Days of preparation were necessary before surgery was given the go-ahead. It took surgeons five painstaking hours to remove the assortment of blades. Some of the knives were folded, others were left with the blade exposed, spanning lengths of up to 18 centimeters. Pika sufferers have been known to eat feces, soil, ice. What the what the what the you you, you feces? What's been known to? To 18 centimeters. Pika sufferers have been known to eat feces. Pika sufferers have been known to eat feces. Soil. Soil. Ice. Ice. Destiny eats ice. Paint. Paint. Metal, glass, mm -hmm. soap, glass, toothbrushes, and clay. Tooth? Wait, 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 wait. Toothbrushes? My guy, you just deep throwing a freaking toothbrush down your throat and saying yum 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 delicious. I can't. What the? F I can't. I I don't even want to do this no more. Over the years, a number of high-profile Pika cases have emerged. In 2002, a patient in France had over 4,000 francs in coins removed from his stomach. More recently, a British woman had to overcome her addiction to eating sponges. Oh. Sponges? How do you... I can't do this. I can't do this. Glass bottle. A 73-year-old farmer was admitted to the University of Mississippi Medical Center with a bottle ensconced in his back passage. In the absence of a proper latrine, the man had ventured to a dumping ground 
to defecate in the great outdoors. Adhering to his customary ritual, the man devised a crude toilet by balancing a wooden board across two supports. He pulled down his pants and readied himself. Unfortunately, the gentleman had a slight issue with his weight, causing the board to break. The inquisitive reader may be skeptical about the man's tale. No. However, Tell me no. according to the scientific journal, it appears his story may hold water. Their journal even goes on to chronicle some of the other bizarre- This man was taking a dump, sitting down taking a dump. The, the, the table broke. This thing went up his booty hole and hit the booty hole and into the- Ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. I thought he swallowed the bottle. That would've been better. If he had swallowed the bottle, that would've been better. That would've been better. But this man's- I can't do this. I can't do this. What the f- Objects removed from the anuses of patients. Aside from the regulars, cucumbers, carrots, broom handles, test tubes, etc., there were a few surprising ones. Among the more exotic objects have been spectacles, suitcase key, half-filled tobacco pouch, a box of tools weighing 634 grams, a stone... Wait, 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 wait. A box of tools got stuck up with someone's butt? How big is y'all booty holes? My booty hole is not that big. How, how do y'all, how do y'all... And a frozen pigtail. The pig's tail example was so curious that further inquiries were necessary. A quick literature search revealed that a bunch of students, for reasons unexplained, inserted the pig's tail into a prostitute's rectal cavity. When the tail thawed, its bristles made it difficult to extract. A stroke of genius provided the solution. A hollow reed was used to envelop the entire tail, and the whole thing was yanked out. Under pressure. Stephen McCormick will never forget the day he sparred with a high-pressure air hose. The New Zealand truck driver was standing between the cabin and the trailer of his truck when he lost his footing and slipped. In doing so, the unlucky trucker broke a high-pressure hose, which then pierced his left butt cheek. The trauma led to McCormick's lungs filling with fluid and the fat separating from his body's muscle. Doctors were surprised that McCormick's skin had endured the incident, especially considering air had been blasted into the man's body at 100 pounds per square inch. The air had filled his abdomen and thorax, applying dangerous pressure to his heart. Doctors drained the fluid from one of the man's lungs, removing the offending nozzle, and cleaned up his embarrassing wounds. <sighs> he slipped, fell, a tube pierced his left butt cheek. Pierced his left butt cheek. Shot air. He turned into a he turned into a, a blow up bed. It puffed air into his body. He survived. I don't. This gotta be the. I can't do this. This gotta be one of the weirdest videos I've ever watched in my entire life. I. After days of tremendous flatulence, McCormick returned to his normal, non-inflated size. Ectopic teeth. Obviously, it's not unusual to find teeth in the human body, but teeth growing in the wrong location can lead to some pretty unpleasant medical complications. While it is uncommon for people to develop more teeth than normal, ectopic teeth are even rarer. An entry into the American Journal of Neuroradiology describes several cases of ectopic teeth in the nasal cavity. In one what? instance, a 59-year-old patient presented with an obstructed left nostril she had also complained of an unpleasant odor for two years. A series of CT scans showed an unusual structure embedded in her nasal cavity. Doctors delved around in the woman's face and extracted a tooth coated in a greasy substance. Histologic analysis confirmed the substance consisted of a fungus called aspergillus, likely explaining the putrid smell. At just nine years old, John Chris Carl Chiante from the Philippines. She had a tooth growing in her nose? What am I watching? What am I watching? What am I watching right now, bro? What the heck am I watching? It's a local curiosity. It all started when his parents realized he was growing more than the typical baby teeth. The boy's surgical team was forced to use a chisel and a hammer to extract over 230 tiny teeth. The marathon procedure took an exhausting seven hours to complete. Yavai is now the proud owner of just 28 curly whites. Surgical forceps. Surgeons all over the planet perform millions of operations each day. 
In 2009, approximately 48 million surgical inpatient operations took place in the U.S. alone, so it comes as little surprise when mistakes are made. A 36-year-old female underwent surgery to remove a hydatid cyst in the liver. Hydatid disease is typically contracted when humans accidentally ingest tapeworm eggs of the Echinococcus variety. Surgeons successfully removed the cyst, and the woman went back to living her life years after the initial operation. Scans of the women's abdomen revealed the remaining part of the surgical forceps. The instrument, now black and corroded, was extracted from the patient's colon. A similarly bungled operation occurred when a surgical team at Bokka... You know how much I'm suing that hospital for? They accidentally left a freaking scissors in my stomach. I'm suing the crap out of them. I am never working again for the rest of my life. I promise you that. That hospital's gonna be shut down how much money they gotta pay me. I guarantee you that. On hospital in Vietnam, left a pair of forceps inside a patient's abdomen. The man had endured years of aches and pains. These symptoms were alleviated when surgeons removed the 15 centimeter long forceps 18 years after the initial Yeah, operation. I'm suing the crap out of them. seen any objects in the human body like this? Please, let us know. I'm pass. suing the crap out of them. I did not enjoy watching this video. I didn't, I couldn't. I, my eyes wanted to be closed the entire time. I, I'm leaning down here, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what the heck to tell y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm not watching no more of this. Y'all send me videos, oh, uh, the hair is still in my head. The hair is still in my head. She takes the hair off the, off the floor, eats it. What the? That's the end of the video, though. Y'all like the video, man. I endured this for y'all. I endured this for y'all. But, um, yeah, man. Kind of so dreadfully did about you. I caught my tooth there for I just lost all my energy. I cannot. This whole video just threw my whole vibes off. I need to go take like a nap or something. Like I don't know what the heck going on. All right, y'all. I'm gonna see y'all. The heck did I just watch? Hey, yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.